Hey everybody, it's Nell Snappy Dragon Reptiles. How you doing? This is my buddy Merlin. This is my hypo head snow. He's a BCI. Beautiful. I love the caramel tail. Isn't he pretty? <laughs> He's my buddy. Anyway, before I get started, happy birthday to Brian Barcheck. It is his birthday. And uh happy birthday, Brian. If you're up there, you know, you were my inspiration to start my YouTube channel. That's the truth. He really was. I was on drugs, alcohol, really bad shape. I just, just really got my, started getting myself together. It'd been a couple of years and I mean, it takes that long. Okay. But the motivation and everything, the inspiration, it come from those daily blogs. It did. Brian helped me a lot and I'll never forget it. Never met him. Never met I've never had the money to be able to travel like that. But I wish I would have, wish I could have, wish I'd have had more, I don't know, wish I had more gumption to go. I would, I, I would have loved it. But anyway, we got Noah here, you know, uh, bad decision, Noah, I think is what it said. And uh says here why I left the Reptarian. This is 20-ish hours ago, I think, on the thing. So we're going to see. I mean, I, I'm not putting any, you know, and I'm not going to interrupt through the whole thing. I'm not going to commentate because I'm sure this is going to be something from his heart. His father passed. That's tough. Everybody has to understand that. Noah's not walking away from his family as far as I would believe, just from seeing him for years on the, on the blogs. I, I would, you know, let's get into this. I'm done working at the Reptarium. I quit. There's a lot of different reasons why. As many of you know, my father passed away. Brian Barcheck, he is the founder of BHB Reptiles, of the Reptarium, Brian Barcheck YouTube channel, Snake Bites TV. He's done so much. He passed away from pancreatic cancer earlier this year, January of 2024. Through all that, he chose to give it a shot to see what I could do with his YouTube channel. As the time went on and on, it became more evident to me that it's not my path, it's not my direction, it's not where I'm supposed to be. For years, I've worked at the Reptarium uh, with, alongside my dad, and I've gathered many amazing memories that I will cherish and hold with me for the rest of my entire life. And I am grateful for those memories. But I cannot lie and say that even though I've garnish these memories and I'm so grateful for them that even during that time I knew that wasn't where I was supposed to be. Now what does that mean? It just means that I, I, I was never fulfilled. Honestly I was always really into it or very depressed honestly. My heart, it's just my heart's just been misaligned and it's caused depression. And I'm not saying I'm depressed right now, because I'm not, but I just knew that it was time. It was never going to be easy. It was never going to be comfortable. But sometimes I get comfortable sitting in a situation that I know doesn't work, but it's what I know. And the unknown is scary. And so do I know how this is going to pan out? Do I know what my life's going to be, turn into? No, and that's scary. But I'd rather be in the unknown, take a chance, and be scared than be in a space where I know it's going to happen. And I've been there for about seven years. And I've, I know, I know I'm done. And if you want to support me and my family on this new adventure that we're taking, we're actually dropping new merch right here, Make Today Awesome, with our logo on the back. Link is in the description. Make Today Awesome. Get yours today. It's only a limited run, and everything is going to ship out at the same day. So this is when the merch run is going to end, and this is when the merch will actually ship out. So, so purchase them right here. Don't wait too long, because before you know it, you won't be able to make today awesome. You know, my dad, he's accomplished such amazing things and, you know, his channel. I've helped him with his channel a lot. Editing, ideas, talking to him, so on and so forth. And now that he's gone, it's just not the same. It's just not the same. He's not the one in front of the camera. Uh, his passion isn't there. My passion isn't there. My passion's never been. I tried. You know, I tried. And it's just fate. Can't go there another day and put on front and try hard to talk and educate about reptiles. I just, 
I just don't care. It's just not me. I love animals. And I love hanging out with them. And I think they're awesome. I love nature. I love Earth. <laughs> but it's just not me. I'm not Steve Irwin. I don't want to be Steve Irwin. I'm not Brian Barczyk. And I don't want to be Brian Barczyk. I want to be myself. And so I have to embark on the journey and, and discover who even is Noah Barczyk. I know it's not faking it every day on a, on a vlog channel. When I got out of high school, I messed around and I started Bad Choice Noah. I loved it and I just crushed it and I made content and content and content and it was so much fun and then life hit me hard. There's a series of intense painful events in my life and it derailed me. I allowed it to derail me. I just know that God has a plan for me and I feel aligned in my spirituality. I feel aligned with my life even though I have anxiety but I just pray and I trust, I have faith. So I just wanted to give an update on, hey, this is what I'm doing. If you don't see me on the vlog channel anymore, this is why. It may come at a surprise to a lot of you. It wouldn't, he told me many times he just wants me to be happy and wherever that I am that makes me happy, then that's good. He's told me many times. I don't care if it's at the Reptarium, if it is great, but if it's not, good. Go be happy. It's, it's not about what the Reptarium is. It's about myself. It's about me, it's about my family. I wouldn't be doing my life, my one and only life on this planet any justice if I were to stay. I took one risk in my life, one big risk in my life, and that was starting this YouTube channel. And it paid off back then. So you know what? I'm taking another risk, and it's gonna work out. It's gonna be the best thing that I've ever done. I don't know where it's gonna take me, but wherever it does, I know that I'll find joy that I'll be happy. And I pray that it's in front of this camera and it's on my channel, traveling the world, coming up with amazing videos and content for you guys to enjoy. Come from my heart and are channeled through the creative energies of this earth, and I believe. So, there you go. I'm done at the Reptarium. And this is for myself. And sometimes when it deals with your own life, you have to be selfish. It deals with your own family and the well-being of our mental health, you have to be selfish. Make sure you stay tuned. While you're here, might as well watch an old one. I will see you very shortly, my friends. Peace. Okay. So, in a situation like this, who could be, who can be objective other than, like, mama things like that the way i was raised yes i would have took the mantle helped my mother all the way been there with her reptariums the re you know but just like on my end my son is not he doesn't want to do this you know and i'm sure between noah and his dad they they knew there's there's no in family, well, in my family, there's no questions between. We share, we know. Brian seemed like a very straightforward man. Like, he, he's going to tell you, okay? When I, to, just to be honest, on, on the shows, when I saw Noah, he didn't fit into me. Absolutely didn't fit into me, okay? He didn't seem like he wanted to be there. So this, I kind of saw coming. I'm not going to lie. I know there's a lot of hardcore people out there that are going to be like, you shouldn't, no, you shouldn't leave. This is the worst time, blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, yeah, think about Noah too. He's young, lost his dad, boom, all of a sudden. You know, and then had the weight of a giant. Brian Barczyk's a giant. I don't care what anybody says, okay? Or anybody thinks in the community that thinks they're bigger. Brian. Brian was the king, y'all, okay? That's a lot to take on. And we know BHB is going to do BHB. And Mama is going to do Mama, and she's going to make that place run. She's going to take it. She's always been strong. She's always been the one on, on Brad, don't, you know. Don't buy this. Don't buy. You can't have this. Can't. He always asked her questions. So the business aspect is there. And I think probably it might have been a mutual decision, guys. But anyway, I wanted to bring that in. Just saying 
you know, actually happy birthday to Brian Barcheck. Saw this on my feed. Okay. Had to do a reaction. So it's a big thing. It is to me. I'm sure it is to a lot of people. It was even to him. He was like, what's going on? I said, I don't know. Let's go do a bit. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, guys, I'll talk to y'all later. You have a good day. Don't be depressed and just live. It's short.